Hi everyone, Harmony Staccato here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Carly Rae Jepsen record, Emotion. Carly Rae Jepsen is a Canadian pop songstress who you remember from the time where she was gonna call you, maybe, but her phone must have died, because I haven't really heard that much from her since since the release of that big breakout smash single. However, uh, she is in fact back with a new full-length album. But to be completely honest, I wasn't really excited for this LP, looking forward to this LP, since so many deep cuts on her last album were kind of unsatisfying. Nowhere near as catchy or as enjoyable as Call Me Maybe, but call me pleasantly surprised because I actually find this new record here to be pretty sweet. I like it. In Caltra Jetspin Tool, I'm like an album tool. Chaley Jetspin on this album, she has E, Motion, electronic motion, or is it emo in the ocean? <laughs> you don't even know what uh, what emo is. I do too. I know what that is. It, it's a bird. It's a big bird. Lang. That is not what it is. <coughs> Emotion as a record actually has quite a bit going for it. Carly has taken that sweet, innocent, girl next door vibe that she had on her last album and her Big Smash singles, and she's made it translate onto a new record that has more fantastic and more mature instrumentals. And she's worked in a few great ballads in the track listing here too. Doing production on this record, we have a lot of people doing production on this record, and co-songwriting. I really cannot get to all of them, but the names that stood out to me were Greg Kirsten, Devante Hines, aka Blood Orange. We also have Rostam from freaking Vampire Weekend doing some production on this thing. Cool. And Greg Wells, uh, again, among many other people, there are a lot of producers here. I'm actually pretty surprised at how consistent a sound Carly was able to get on this album while working with so many different people. A lot of the songs on here seem like a pretty sharp mix of new and old. While I wouldn't call every track here a hit, or a potential hit, at least every song on this record sounds uh, at least somewhat radio ready. Maybe a little too radio ready in the case of tracks like LA Hallucinations, which has this heavy handed synthetic beat, and the song Warm Blood, which is maybe my least favorite track here. Not really sure where the song came from among all these other tracks that seem so well written and so punchy and so concise. The off kilter beat here just seems so out of place against Carly's voice, and there's not really that strong of a tune on this track either. This song is just really not doing this record any favors, and I have no idea why it made it onto the standard version, even though every bonus track on the deluxe version of this record is better. Even the very short song Blackheart, which really could have used a stronger ending. I don't think the tracks on this LP that are more electronically driven are bad, but my favorite cuts on here are the songs that have more of a balance between these synthetic elements and instrumentation that sounds a little bit more organic. The songs with more variety in the instrumentation, and the kind of pop songwriting that you'd usually catch on a record coming out of the 80s. Carly and her songwriters and her producers hint toward this on the opening track here, Come Away With Me, which features this like blaring by the beach saxophone that opens the, the whole record up. Although I think her and her producers kind of lose sight of this sound when the hook comes around and we kind of have these just, just thrusting, pummeling electronic beats and these kinds of uh, like group vocal bits that sound like kids are singing, come away with me. Uh, sounds more like something that would end up on like an M83 record. However, even though Carly and her producers lose sight of that sound on the opener, they hold it throughout the track on the title track here, Emotion. Fantastic song. The punchy drums, the sweet bass line on this thing, the really sugary synths on here, not only do they have a, a, a real awesome dynamic on them that, that, that delivers a great groove, but this instrumental feels kind of like a nod to just 80s pop and rock music, as well as a lot of the newer pop acts out there that are using instrumentation, using live instrumentation, or using more organic instrumentation in their productions, or at least instrumentation that sounds organic. Organic. People like uh, Megan Trainer or Haim or uh, Mark Ronson 
Johnson or Pharrell. And this works for Carly too on this record. Works for her on the awesome ballad, all that. Really amazing slow jam with a little slap bass in there too. Sounds great. And I love her vocal lines on this track, especially when uh, we reach that crescendo in the track. Tell me, do you want me? And then we have the song Boy Problems. It's Boy Problems. Like the instrumental on this track, I swear to God, sounds like 97 era Daft Punk. Really great beat on this track. And the song Your Type is probably the best marriage of modern radio pop and old school synth pop that I, I've heard in, in, a, in, in a while, 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 but the album never feels dated, never feels vintage, just kind of feels like it has a, a bit of an old soul and, uh, and, and actually came through with the sort of quality level that you expect out of those older records. And thankfully, Carly brings it back, even on some of the more synthetic tracks here that, that sound like simple, modern bubblegum pop, like on the song Gimme Love, which may have an overly simple hook, but Gimme Love! Give me love, give me love, give me love, give me touch. One of the few moments on this record where I feel like the lyrics are redundant, but not quite as redundant as they are on the song, I Really Like You. A song that does make me groan a little bit, I will say. However, I understand if you like it, it's the album's big, big single. It's Carly's uh, attempt at another Call Me Maybe. However, if you've heard this song, you know what I'm saying. I really, 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 really wish she put some other lyrics in that hook. You know, just like a few other words. But in a way, I do understand that this simplicity, that this expression of I really, 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 really uh, want something, like something, sort of works toward that cute girl next door demeanor that Carly sort of has going throughout this record. I mean, drinking some tequila and saying the word damn are probably this album's most glaring instances of misbehavior. And I think that's a good thing. I don't think there's enough modern pop out there that, that emphasizes genuine sweetness and innocence, to be honest. And not that I mind uh, blatant references towards sex or cussing or crudeness in music. I, I really don't. In fact, <laughs> I often enjoy it. But for Carly, given her track record thus far and just sort of the stuff she sings about and, and just how sweet and sugary her tunes are, it would kind of be like a break in character for her. The songs on this record aren't really crude in any sort of manner. These tracks are about just intense crushes and, and, and young love, but with like a, a level head. Like on the song, Let's Get Lost, which is a legitimately precious little pop tune about wanting to literally get lost while on a drive or out on an adventure with this person who you have a crush on to sort of, you know, extend that experience. It's a song that is simple in sentiment, but also a reminder that the little moments are important, that quality time is important. Cuddles and kisses are good. And again, I just like that Carly is bringing that innocence back on this record and doing it with some good tunes and some great instrumental backdrops. Her and her producers and her writers had some great ears for instrumentation on this thing. You could tell they wanted to keep it new, keep it fresh, keep it contemporary, but in a really strong way, reference these pop relics from the 80s in a very tasteful way. I'm feeling a decent to strong seven on this thing. Transition. Have you given this record a listen? If you have, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, Carly Rae Jepsen, Emotion, forever. Hey everyone, it's ya boy, Anthony Fantano over here. You know who it is. And I'm making a quick announcement, a quick little blurb over here, where I'm telling y'all that I have a brand new website that I built via Squarespace. And there is also a link down there in the description box where you could build your own site through Squarespace, whether it be for your home business or your own personal hobby at a discount. And uh, it's a great platform. I've been enjoying it myself. It's really easy to use. Looks clean, looks nice. People have been enjoying the site. Trusty server, Squarespace server, the site is sitting on right now currently. And if you want, also there is a link in the description box where you can check out a playlist which we recently launched on the site, dealing specifically, focusing on specifically folk 
Electronica. It is a sweet motherfucking playlist. So go give it a listen. And if you want to build a site, you can use that link I put in the uh, description box as well, the Squarespace link. And uh, yeah, that's it. You're the best. Thanks for listening and uh, have a nice day.